<laughs> so we are here with the amazing Lizzie Mathis, one half of Honest Renovations. And right. your other half, Jessica Alba, we, we miss her, but Lizzie is enough for the two, okay? <laughs> so but I see your beautiful LA background back there. Yes. No, okay. We're actually, we're in New York. This is New You're York City. New York? Yes, this is New York's background. Wow. Okay. I'm born and raised in LA. Oh, but, were you? But South Central LA. So my background look a little different. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you in Hotlanta. So you're very yeah. different. I said it wasn't this much crime in South Central LA. Oh, my God. Look, don't tell me that. Listen. A hot don't mess. Don't say it like that. Look, I got a special place for hot Atlanta, so don't tell me that. <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of honest renovations, why did you guys choose that name? You know, I think that we chose that name for a couple of different reasons. Obviously, okay. Jessica has a company called The Honest Company, which is all about, you know, baby, family-friendly products. And their whole ethos is to keep everything honest. So sustainable, okay. to be transparent in the products and not having a lot of chemicals and things like that in their products. So that was a really easy tie into the show because those are all the ethos that we keep on the show. We're always trying to be as sustainable as possible, transparent as possible. We want to make sure we're always choosing the best quality materials because we're designing for families. Okay, I, so it's in the design. I think it's in the design. But also, I think the second part of it is, is that honest is a really like, you know, heavy word, right? Like to be yeah. honest with someone, you have to have honest relationships. And the relationship between Jessica and myself is very honest. We keep it 100% real. We're always honest with each other. And friendship plays such a big part in this show. Okay, because you know, whenever somebody says to be honest, like you, I'm like, oh, they lying. Oh, you skeptical. <laughs> you skeptical. See that? <laughs> like, so, I'm originally, I'm originally from Detroit, so I'm gonna oh, say, oh I'm yeah, like, honest. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I'm skeptical too. See, if I knew you was from Detroit, I would have said, what up though? What up though? What up though? Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it is so many people from Detroit in Atlanta too. Yes. Detroit it's versus like, everything. I even bought the t-shirt when I went. Look, I got to one too. I got one too. It's yes. Detroit versus everybody. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I was talking about the lady who said, so I started watching the shows, right? I didn't want to just watch the screeners. I just started binge watching. Yes. And because you have to binge watch once you see one thing. And my girlfriend in LA is just like addicted to every home renovation show. So she absolutely loves you guys, okay? Yes. So the one lady was like, well, you know, my living room is so drab and it's dark when I walk in here. And, but wait a minute, I'm like, did she just say her, the house was gifted to her? Yes. yes. So I think you guys should have been honest and said, sweetie, bye. It's better than that tent and that draft you could have felt from sleeping under the freeway while you talking about it's not bright enough. It was Look, a free house. Hold on. Now, listen, I'm telling you, Janelle, this is why we on the show and you not, because you got to have compassion, okay? I like TV I would have put the H in honesty. Uh -uh, you got to have <laughs> compassion. You know what, though? It's interesting because even though that house was gifted, because I remember this episode from season one. You were yes. watching season Yes. Even though that house was gifted, her whole thing was that she didn't feel like it was her house because all of her sister's things were still in the house. Okay. So she never felt like she put her mark on it. And that's a big thing, though. Even well, that's you, right. You, you didn't put your dime on it. Your bank account you on, your it. Mark on it. You have to put your stamp on it so you feel like when you walk in that house, it is right. your home. Right. That's why they just gifted it to her because they was like, it would be too much work for us to get all our stuff out. Girl, you can have it and figure it out. Look, you <laughs> you better wish somebody would just gift us a house. I wish what? somebody would. Yes. I would have that dump truck outside the next right. day, okay? And we did. And we did. <laughs> you did. And you guys, so do you guys sit down and like, because I noticed that you have conversation and dialogue with everyone so you can get a glimpse of their personality because that lets you know how to decorate. 
That's right. I mean, listen, I think that at the end of the day, we could, Jess and I could easily put our stamp on every single house and just let it be our design and whatever we want and blah, blah, blah. But that's not going to make the impact when they come back into the house. When the family comes back into the home and sees the reveal, you want it to feel personal to them. You want it to be a place where they feel like they can really come in, relax, de-stress, enjoy their space, entertain, make memories, right? So for us, when we design we obviously look at it from our point of view and try to see that what they couldn't see. You right. know, it's like when new people come into the house and they look at it, right? When we're coming in, we see it in a totally different way than what the family right. It's It's nothing like so, that renovation mindset. Yes, exactly. You have to be open-minded to be able to see it differently. And so we do that. And through the design conversations that we have in the design process, right. we all try to pinpoint what it is that we think the family's going to need right. and what it is they're going to want, right? Yeah. So try not to do yellow, purple walls if they are totally adverse to Look, anything. Look, they are totally not a Lakers fan. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like, you, LA. You know, right. so we try not to do that. But, you know, at the yeah. same time, we feel like we know just a little hint of how to like push our families in the right direction. Right. And you guys do a really good job because everybody is so excited. Like even down to the kids, you talk to them because you know, I'm like, if you're not paying rent, you do not get an opinion. (laughs) You sound like my house, Auntie Janelle. You sound like my house. Yeah, that's how my voice, everybody who pay rent, right? Say I. That's right. That's right. how that's how we do too. But so look, the kids, but like, look, the kids are a big part of the show though. Because they are. They when are. they walk in for that reveal, you want them to be just as excited as mom oh and dad, or mom, mom, like or the parents or whatever it is. You want them to be happy about their space too. And so we had one um for this season, we have a family and the kids were so excited about oh their room. God. They just they walked in and they were afraid to touch things because serious? they didn't realize that everything was theirs. Did that and make so, your heart melt? Oh, yes. I think that's why you do it though, because you hear so much of their 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 story. Yeah. That's the beautiful part about this show. We're not just like a regular home renovation show where you come in and you see a a, a, a crazy before and a beautiful after. Right. Our show, which was very show important. The in between. Yeah, you see the yeah. in between, but you also hear the heart of the family. You yes. hear the heart of the story, and the stories are relatable. They're stories that you, myself, you know, our cousins, our family, our friends have experienced. Right. And so I think that's an important part because that is something that people can relate to. And no, when you it is something and see yourself in it. That's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. So I, I had a vision that you guys came here. And and found a house. I found one around the corner from me, actually. Two hundred thousand okay. dollars on yes. an acre of land. You and did but you pick it up? Like trash. So I took my son over there and I'm like, I used to renovate houses and flip them 10, uh-huh. 15 years ago when the market was good. And he was like, Mom, this is not your ministry. I was like, no, it totally is. I was like, they have no open mindset to like what we could do. He was like, no, ma'am. <laughs> no, I said, all you need is another thousand square feet, just yes. a box, and it's worth three fifty now. Like he was like, mm, no. if you have the time, the energy, and the resources, make it happen. It's a beautiful yes. thing, but understand going into it that yes. it is going to be a project. That's so what you're after watching your show. I was like, when they come here, they can yes. keep it, fix it up for me. We can have lunch. I'm going to tell you my whole story. I want to hear it all. First, y'all got to buy it, though. And then oh, oh. fix it. Exactly. Then, yeah. You got to buy it first because, you know, that's part of it. I mean, buy it first. Roku and home. Oh, we got to buy the house, too? Yes. Oh, you wilding. Look, you wilding. Oh, I'm good. You wilding. <laughs> you were like, yes, we got to buy it. And I'm like, yeah. oh, not we. We. <laughs> Oh, you talking about you got the I'm wrong like, show. I'm not about the lottery show. You talking about the lottery winner show. Oh, okay, I got it. This honest renovations. <laughs> I'm like to be honest. I love it. I love you guys' energy. And it doesn't feel like like you're acting. It doesn't feel like uh like it seems like you guys are genuinely concerned with everyone who sits down in front of you and when you ask the questions and they're giving you their honest answers and you're hearing it. Cause sometimes yeah. you tell people stuff and they're like, okay, but 
what we envisioned is, you know, yeah. like you don't you don't do that. Not, That's what I love out. about it. Yeah, we're not out just to make TV, just to be making TV. We're yes. not out just like, you know, put a design on that doesn't make sense just because we want a different reveal or, or whatever it is. Right. We go out to help these families. Like we, right. I genuinely, we sit down and genuinely it's my favorite part to have the conversation, the first conversation with them, meet them, talk to them, hear them, see their life. Right. You know, kids jump on us. Let the kids be around. Let the kids right. say, you know. It's a it's a part of the show that really touches my heart because I think that this show is for the families. Now, did you do renovations in the past life? In a, I don't know what I did in a past life, but in this life, no, um, did you? Was that something you always yeah, wanted to so do? We, or did you do it? Yeah, you know, look, renovation has always been something that we I've dabbled and dabbled in with different places of mind, you know, right. different houses, different things. I've never done six houses at one time. Right. So, that's, so that's, that's always a new challenge. But Jess and I have always had a passion for design, for home design, that's or good. even just design when you walk into a hotel or are traveling yes. or anything. And I think you pick up on these little things as you go. Right. I think what's fun about this show is that a lot of times when you see us moving things around or power drills or hammers, right. sometimes it's the first time we're doing it. So, you know, like oh, this right. on the season oh, was the first time right. I used a jackhammer. I was like, what is this? So, you know, that's the fun thing about this show is that we really get in to get our hands dirty. Yes, you really do. I don't know how dirty y'all get, but y'all get in there, okay? You guys make it look so good. Like, okay, ladies. Like, we're trying to inspire you to go buy that $200,000 house on that acre of land. Right. Okay. That rehab work, though. Ooh, child. So yeah. let me ask you, what is your favorite um, hotel? Like, what design? Which There's so many different beautiful hotels in L.A., um, and I know you've seen them traveling, but what's your favorite? I mean, I really like the Amman hotels. I really do. I mean, I'm I, you walk in and I feel like you are just transported to straight like luxury. I am not gonna lie, I really love them. But I will also say that I love the sustainability and the eco practices of the one hotels. Okay. So they have one hotels, you know, in many places as well, all over. And I love that they always have a sustainability yeah. uh, element to every room. Every hotel is like so much wood, trees, greenery, eco, you know, water filters everywhere. I love that. And I think that's a really great idea to put into hotels nowadays. Right. Because luxury doesn't always mean just aesthetically it also means how we're living and last question do you think that you guys will ever get your um contractor license and want to like be female builders listen i don't know what jess is doing out here in life but me i could see it one day yeah no, I, can, I, I can see you guys totally being builders like you don't have to exactly yeah. do it yourself but just oh, know I that you started the renovations and now yeah. we're building subdivisions out listen don't 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 limit me i'm limitless okay i'm limitless i love, limitless. It. I love I it. it congratulations on season two give jessica my best she missed out because she missed me but she <laughs> Right. I'm gonna she give her another right. opportunity. That's right. She's gonna get a dose of you another time, Janelle. Don't you know with Janelle? Yeah. Oh yes, Janelle. <laughs> no, and I honestly want to do a spotlight feature on you guys for our print magazine. Oh, I love that. That's You're great. Worldwide in print. Yes. So we're about to start working on the next issue. So hopefully, if you're here next week, um, so we can just get you a picture together, a professional image. Look, our own that we. I own. love it. We're and down. No, We're down. I'm so serious. And I know you are. The next print, seriously. Okay, I'm Make very proud of you too. I am. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. I appreciate you. Thank you. Can you give me a drop and say your name and your upscale with Jonelle? Sure, I'm Lizzie Mathis, and I'm upscale with Jonelle. Yeah. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. <laughs>